What is up guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna take a look at the 21st Century Toys 118 scale uh, M151 Mutt or Jeep. Now it was nicknamed the Mutt by the soldiers, but it was just another Jeep technically that the US used during the conflict. This vehicle saw extensive action and use during the Vietnam War conflict, as well as uh, right after the Vietnam War up until the Humvee replaced it. So here are both vehicles side by side. You can definitely see the size difference uh, between both. Now back to the Mutt. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at this vehicle. 21st Century Toys, in my opinion, did an outstanding job on all of their vehicles. But since we're looking at this one today, uh, the detail is just, just perfect. Um, you know, compared to their competitors, I mean, just something about the way they produce their toys Technically, there were toys back then, but now they're considered models. Uh, just something about the way they produce them, the detail in them, is what really makes me respect them as a company. So, a um, lot of great detail all the way around on this vehicle. Now, this is a 100% complete Mutt, so let's go ahead and take a look at what came with this vehicle. Let's go ahead and start with a driver. Uh, once again, you know, you have that unfortunate uh, articulation in their figures, so... Just the swivel articulation, meaning you can't, you know, uh, move the legs too well. Um, so he's technically just stuck in that uh, sitting position. Uh, arms also have that swivel uh, feature on it. But you do got to be careful with these figures because they are old. They've been sitting either in a box or on the shelf for a long time, and they are made from plastic. So you want to be careful and not make sure you don't snap anything. Um, but overall, pretty, pretty generic, pretty cool detail on the face there. Um, overall pretty good uh, paint job. I love the helmet that came with this uh, driver here. Really nice camo going on there. Just like that. Pretty cool. And he also came with an M16 rifle. I believe it is the M16. Pretty good detail on that. And that is it. That's all the accessories that came with it apart from the machine gun. This is a very cool M60 machine gun. It was nicknamed the Saw by the soldiers uh, because of its performance in the field and how it just, you know, tore down everything that was in its path, basically. So, very cool detail. You can see the ammo can with the ammunition sticking out on the side there, or the belt. Um, but pretty good detail on the machine gun. So, and it just slides right back into place right over here. And it is 360 degrees rotatable. So pretty good, pretty good detail. Now I can go up and down. Well, not down much. Yeah, I actually could, could go down. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the front of the vehicle. Uh, right away, you can uh, probably see this pipe here. Now this pipe or just uh, metal beam sticking up was actually uh, put on there to protect the driver because the Viet Cong and other uh, enemy soldiers got smart and they would tie a piece of um, just like string or wire from one end of the, I guess, road, wherever they were driving on, uh, to the other, and at a, I guess, desirable speed, it would just cut through the windshield and, you know, whoever else was in the way. So they started to implement putting these little beams here so that way they could, you know, it could cut the rope or string, whatever, um, and save more lives. So that was a pretty cool uh, thing that they added. Um, they did that during World War II as well. Uh, you'd see some Jeeps with that little beam sticking up. So nice little fact there. Uh, really nice detail in the front there. You got the grill, the headlights, the turning signals, um, the front bumper. These the little um, tow hooks do move around so you can put them whichever way you'd like. And let's go ahead and open up the hood. You got US Army on the side. And some numbers, very nice detail, pretty simple uh, motor in there, but pretty cool that they added that detail. I love that they have this uh, tube going up to the uh, snorkel, which, you know, they could, because of the snorkel, they would be able to travel through pretty, you know, basically as, as tall as that uh, snorkel is, they'd be able to go through that much water. So um, very cool. I love that 21st Century Toys implemented that hose or tube. Uh, as well into this model. So let's take a look at the side of the vehicle. We've got the tires. Now the tires are made from a harder plastic, so it's not necessarily like rubber. Um, I could be wrong. It just feels like a harder plastic. So 
Um, got a uh, hammer or mallet on the side there. Caution, do not fill. Think, yep, that's where you would fill it up. Another good detail here. On the rear, we have the jerry can. The, uh, this is probably the exhaust, and this is the antenna. Spare on the back as well. Same thing, or the, you got a shovel instead of the mallet on the other side. Storage container. The seat does go back, or go, go down, sorry. So that's really cool. You can have a soldier standing up, I guess. Either way, you can have them standing up to uh, man the machine gun, so that's cool. Let's get a closer look at what apparently is the dashboard. You can see all the little dials and stuff in there, uh, the gears and stuff. Really cool detail in there. Uh, the wheel is a little bit <laughs> bent or smushed. I don't know how that ended up happening, but it is what it is. Uh, you can put the windshield down. Like There is a possibility to do that, and I think you'd have to... Oh yeah, look at that. You remove that, and it goes down. So There's a little peg here. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, there's a little hole right there, and there's a peg in the windshield. So you can put it back like that, and it'll stay up, or you can remove the peg, and you can put the windshield down. So that's cool. And here is the bottom of the vehicle. Nothing much going on over here, but just in case anybody is curious. And then you have the 21st Century Toys logo on the bottom. 2000. So overall, a very nicely detailed model by 21st Century Toys. Uh, I would definitely recommend picking this up while we still while you still have the chance because they're getting more and more harder to find. But you can still find some across eBay. I was fortunate enough to pick mine up for about $40 uh, in the box. Uh, I actually unboxed it prior to making this video. Um, but just do keep in mind that the newer or in-box vehicles are going to cost a lot more than the used vehicles. If you want to save some money, I would definitely pick up the used uh, Jeeps or Mutts. I think that's going to have to do it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Uh, comment down below if you want to see more of these types of videos. I'm going to start releasing more and more each and every week. And uh, yeah, if you're not subscribed yet, make sure to hit that uh, subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.